Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be covering something that um, I certainly use. I'm not sure whether you use it or not but hey if you if it's this video is of some use to you then that is great. And that is um, what three words. What three words is absolutely fantastic. I use what three words as a location catcher. In other words when I'm out and about I'll often just pull out my phone and on my phone I'll pull up what three words and I'll, I'll, I'll mark a location or mark a spot. It's usually a road that I want to ride my motorbike down at some point. Um, I find that easier to use than having to pull out Google Maps and pin it. Uh, that's not quite so easy to use. So, um, And I keep a nice list of, of saved locations which I'm going to get into in this video in a minute. So. I want to then be able to navigate to that location. In other words, I want to be able to pull that location up and I want to be able to make a GPX file as to, get, as to how to get from wherever I am to that location that I've saved. So in this video, I'm going to be covering how to pull up um, what three words, how to find your, your favorites and your locations, how to navigate to it using the built-in Google Maps interface, and how to convert that to a GPX file, which is also in a video that I've covered before, which you'll oh, not that side, that side, which I'll put a link to before. I'll put a link to up there, which you can skip to if you want to. But anyway, keep watching this video, and it'll 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 be the same anyway, and you'll see the interface between the two. There is no interface between what three words and Google Maps. And there's no way to get a natively to get a GPX file out of Google Maps. I'm going to be doing all of that in this video. And then to prove the point, I'm then going to be loading that uh, GPX file into uh, my root app app, my my root app app, so that I can show you that the GPX file works. And of course, that from there on, you can go and edit it and change it and move it around from as many as many points as you want. Have a look at the rest of the videos in this playlist and you'll see lots more about my route app and so on. So stick with me. I'm going to be uh, start recording that for you right now. So let's get over to the trusty computer. OK, so here we go. Um, as you can see already, I've just got a blank Google page here. So all we need to first of all is go to uh, what three words and what three words will just default to wherever it thinks is the nearest location to you. Um, I guess it picks your IP address, but it's got mine clearly wrong here because I'm not in Oxford. It doesn't really matter. So from here, we're going to, impl we're going to use a few different uh, things and I'm going to go through them one at a time systematically. The first thing I need to do is to go and find out where I want to go to. And that will be, if you click on the hamburger menu, menu up here, and this now I need to go to my save locations. And as you can see, I've got 48 saved locations. So these are the locations that I've saved when I've been out and about. That's the one that I did. I made when I was in Berlin uh, last week doing the Berlin Marathon. Uh, and this one, I called it Berlin Flat, where we rented. And this one is uh, another one I like to go and ride my motorbike down called Con I I've called it Convent Road. It doesn't mean it's called Convent Road. It just means it's a road I liked. I didn't know what the name of the road was. And there was a convent at the end of it. You can, in what three words you can add any label you want to the the, the road that you're on. So I'm going to go and what you want to save you want to save. So I'm going to go and click on this location. And voila, there it is. Let me zoom out a bit so you can get a better idea as to um, what I'm talking about. The overlay by default is Google Maps, um, which you set up by the way in what three words. I'll cover that at another point in time. So now I want to go and navigate to this place and I want to be able to create a GPX file. So the first part is to get this into Google Maps. What three words integrates nicely with Google Maps. You can either add the what three words uh, plugin into Google Chrome or you can just simply click on the 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 tab that says navigate. When you click on navigate, you get four options. City Mapper. I've never used City Mapper, so can't comment. Google Maps, we're going to use that today. Bing Maps, I just don't like it. And Waze. Waze is brilliant and great for getting from one part of the of a city to another, but there's no 
there's no option to create a GPX file from Waze. So we're going to use the Google Maps integration in what three words. And if I click that, it'll open up a new tab and it will give me the Google Maps route from where I, from where I am to where I want to go. All right. So now if you have um, already seen my video about how to create a GPX file from Google Maps, the, uh, which is uh, above right now and also in the link below you don't need to watch any more of this video you can go straight you you've already seen it if you haven't seen that then keep watching to the end so I'll, i'm going to repeat it now and and bring it all together um right so now we need to now go and get the the link for the the google link for this file for this route but, but not this link this link won't help you. I've said this before. Don't bother with that link at the top. That's not the one we want. It won't work for what we're about to do. You need to choose the route that you want to take. And then you click on the where it says details. In details, you then go and click on that famous share button. I think everybody knows what that button means. You click on that and that will give you a, a shareable link. And you copy that link simply like that. I'm going to now close this. Now I need to get a GPX file. I'm finished with Google Maps now. I don't need that anymore. Um, so I can either close it, overwrite it, whatever. But for the purpose of the demonstration, I'll leave it open for now and I'll open up a new tab. And now I need to go to a website called Maps to GPX. That one there, maps to GPX. And in, I actually meant maps to GPX. I spelled it wrong. I do actually mean that. Apologies. It will help to correct you. It will correct it for you. And then in the box at the bottom, I'm going to paste in that link, this box here. Please do consider donating to maps to GPX if you use this service. I have, and I think they're brilliant. They're not commercial. It's a great bunch of guys. Please send them some money. All I need to do now is to paste in my the link that I've just copied. And I've got a Mac, so that's Command V. On a PC, it's Control V. And on a Linux machine, it's Control V. You then need to click on the button that says Let's Go. And that will download, it will create and download a GPX file directly to your downloads folder. It'll take a second or two to make it. So if you just watch this, I'm going to click Let's Go. And in a minute, you'll see it pop up. Uh, here in my there you go there it is there now that is now in my downloads folder and just to prove the point I shall go and open up my downloads folder got no idea what's in there there it is maps to gpx file there it is there I'm going to close this for now now I'm going to go and prove that so I now have the gpx file of the route from where I am to where I wanted to go to in what three words and to prove that point I'm going to open up another tab and I'm going to go to my route app. I have it shortcutted to all of my routes here, but maybe when you go to my route app, perhaps yours looks uh, like this. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go and upload a, I can either upload here or if you've got it shortcutted like I do, you can just simply go to new and then you can do upload. It's the same thing, whichever way you do it. Now, I'm going to make it sure it's private because this is just for me to uh, create this video. I'm going to select my mode in this particular case. Of course, I'm going to put motorcycle because I'm a motorcyclist. By the way, if anybody knows the difference between motorcycle and car, please do put it in the comments below. I haven't yet been able to work it out in my route app. It's a new feature. I know I know what the motorhome is because that gives the people who are in motorhomes uh, information about bridge heights and whatever um, and lots of other info if you put your info in about your vehicle but I'm not sure what the motorcycling one does but I'm a motorcyclist so I'll click motorcycle please do uh, educate us all and once I find out what that is I'll make a video about it now I click download and I'm going to go and click or upload rather I'm going to go and click on the maps to gpx file that I created before I'm going to say click open I don't particularly uh, like that name but I can change it later doesn't really matter and i'm going to say import and that will then go off and import it as a the, the same file name there um, i'm going to go and click on this file 
And just to prove the point, this GPX, I've already got downloaded, obviously, this GPX file is working. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger so you can see it rather. And that should look pretty much the same as that. In fact, it is. It's the same thing. So we've gone from what three words to Google Maps. From Google Maps, we've created a GPX file, and then we've uploaded the GPX file to my root app. You don't have to do this final section if you don't want to, but you might want to edit it around and change it about and, and go longer routes or shorter routes. And if you're in my root app, you've, I've done videos about this before, you can just go and drop it over there and make the change and whatever. So there you go. That's how you create a route to a place that you have saved in what three words and download it as a gpx file to use on your navigation device be that a garmin i have a garmin zoom xt maybe you have a different garmin device maybe you have a garmin watch maybe you have a tom tom maybe you have uh, some other device uh, even kalimoto will allow you to import uh, gpx files and i'll be doing more videos on kalimoto at a later date thanks for watching i really appreciate it please do consider subscribing to my channel i need more subscribers um, and please do consider giving me a thumbs up i am not monetized by my root app at all so if you do like the content that i've made there's a link below you're welcome most welcome to buy me a pint of beer thanks very much and i hope to see you all in the next video bye for now